Sometimes the ref just doesn't have a very good angle and still will make that call. Foul was on number 40, Reed Luneman, his first. Grinnell heading to the line. Boy, not a lot of arc on these free throw shots. Second one just rolls out. Wagner bringing the ball up the floor. Over to Luneman. Cervantes posting up strong in the lane. Wagner with an 18 footer. Not there. Conway pulls in the rebound. Zach Deller in his first minutes of the game for the Johnnies. Gets pickpocketed by Wagner. Wagner's heading down the floor. Throws up a prayer. Nelson gets called for the over-the-back foul, trying to save Wagner's shot. Oh, right into the hands of Paloma. He's dribbling down the floor. Oh, hard foul by Conway. He had no intention of letting that ball go up. Paloma lining it up. First basket good. Second one gets the roll. That's Paloma's third and fourth point of the night. Cervantes with the pick. Boy, Johnny's just getting some rolls here tonight. Wagner moving the ball up the court quickly. Kicks it out to Paloma. Over to Luneman. Johnny's side against going in. Oh, I think Nelson got a piece of that. That was a block. Oh, cross-court pass to Nelson. He picks it out of the defender's hands, and it's good. Boy, Jason Nelson just went and made that play happen. Three-point Conway. Over to Paloma. Two players posting up on the same side for the Rebels. Into Luneman. He's got the double team. Out to Paulman for three. Not there. Cervantes with the rebound. Kicks it back to Wagner. Takes the long two-pointer. Also not there. Nel Ooh. Nelson just about saved that ball. To get another chance for the Rebels. Tyler Offedal checking in for Blake Paloma. Give the Rebels a little bit more athleticism on the inside. Roski bringing the ball up the floor. Passes it over. Just about gets it picked off, passing it past to Roski. To the inside. And a left-handed shot by Tarek. Oh, a big mismatch inside. Tyler Oftedal. Nelson for three. Not there. Luman got the offensive board and got ran over. That's Levi Johnson's second personal foul. He'll head to the bench. Nelson over the top to Oftedal. Oh, I did not see that one. That's why we pay those referees the big bucks. Yeah. 
Conway getting the ball off the court. Boy, just missed a traveling call there. Conway took a big jump without doing anything. Nelson puts a shot up. Wow. And that's what that press is supposed to do. Luneman just missing out on getting that ball. He'll head back to the bench. Zach Taylor back into the game. Passes it into the corner to Conway. Long three-pointer. Yep. He had a traveling call before the shot got off. Wagner making a quick move to the basket. Out to Nelson. It's Zach Taylor on the inside. Throws up a shot. Not there. Cornell gets the rebound. Passes it to Tarek. Conway fakes a long three. Benique passes it inside to Tarek. Grinnell muscles in of two points. Grinnell's heading the line for one more. Boy, he really throws that thing at the basket. Rebels move down the floor quickly to Nelson. Back out to Cervantes. Quick spin move, nothing there. Hits Wagner at the top of the key. Whoa! Big carry there by number 11, Ben Benink. Just kind of lost the ball. Fouls at number 44, Dario Cervantes. That's his second personal foul. Blake Paloma checking back into the game. Roski will head to the line for the one and one. First basket is good. It's Roski's first point of the night. Boy, that's a much prettier free throw shot by the Johnny's guard there. It's the ball into off it all. Over the top of Cervantes down in the post. A little bit crowded down there. Tarek getting a little handsy. Wagner checking back in for Taylor. Rebels going with a little bit of a smaller lineup here. Back out to Nelson. Boy, just gets fouled hard. Nothing called. Blake Palma with the fake and the shot, and it's good. Boy, Blake Palma has kept the Rebels somewhat in this game. Tarek passes it in. Hits Conway. Fade away for no reason. Tyler Oftedal with the rebound. Wagner dribbles it back up court. Nothing there. Wagner at the top of the key. No good. Johnny's getting a little rough on the boxing out here. Getting called for it. It's Paulum on the corner. Three pointers up. Not there. Offadal with the big rebound. Puts it back and it's good.
Wagner caught a fist to the nose there. Coach Wald calling a timeout to get his guard back in. Had a bit of a back and forth game here so far. Johnny's up by eight. But both teams have gone on some runs. Rebels coming back out with the same five players. It appears the Johnnies are as well. And we're back. Wagner seems like the nose is still bothering him. Hands it over to Cervantes. In, nice pass into Nelson. Easy two points. Boy, beautiful pass by Dario Cervantes there. Tip Jason Nelson wide open on the inside. Johnny's take the fake the three into Grinnell. Gets picked. And Blake Palma tipped that away and Cervantes capitalized. Into Oftedal. Boy, what a strong young player there. Johnny's player went up there to hit him hard, and there was nothing he could do to stop him. Conway coming with the screen. Gets the pass instead. Makes a few dribbles. Johnny's content to do a lot of work deep away from the basket. Conway bringing the ball up the floor. Over to Benik. It's Levi Johnson. Wide open. The basket's no good. Falls to number 10, Josh Wagner. His first, team eighth. Five minutes, 57 seconds left here in the first half. Rebels have cut their deficit to four. Make that five. Levi Johnson's first attempt good. Second one just misses. Cervantes gets the rebound, passes it to Wagner. He's bringing the ball up the floor. Hits a wide open Tyler Offerdahl on the inside. Offerdahl with six first half points. Johnny's just not paying any attention to the young forward. Hard pass over. Levi Johnson not there. Gets it up to Paloma. Conway takes Paloma out at the legs, gets called for the body foul. Paloma had the line for the one and one. Grinnell checking back into the game for the Johnnies. First attempt for Paloma is good. Offerdahl just about got that board. Ball does flip back to a Johnny. Conway with the alley oop. A 
Wagner passes it back up top to Paloma. One on one inside to Oftedal. Decides not to give it to him. Wagner does a crossover. Over to Cervantes. It's ridden the entire way by Tarek. Nothing there. Back to Paloma. Over to Wagner. It's the little lob over the top. Cervantes in the middle. <laughs> Cervantes getting called for his third personal, the offensive foul. James Olson coming in for the first time tonight. Reed Luneman also coming in. Rebels are down four right now, 25-21. With four and a half minutes left here in the first half. Conway passes over into the corner. Tarek throws it to nobody over in the bleachers. Eagle Valley Rebels girls basketball players sitting over there. Supporting the boys team. Reed Luneman with a wide open 15-footer. Nothing there. Paloma gets the rebound over to Wagner. Gets Olsen down low. Wide open for two points. Rebels have cut the deficit to two. With just over four minutes left. Conway passes it over to Benique. He immediately takes two steps without dribbling. Johnny's taking a 30 second timeout. Coach Back, he's talking things over with his team. And just seem like a frustrated squad right now, even though they still have the lead. And so far this half, Blake Paloma and Tyler Offadal combining for 13 of the Rebels' 23 points. Normally two role players, but they're carrying the squad tonight. Back in. Wagner dribbling the ball off the court. Back to Paloma. Decides not to shoot. Gets it back to Wagner. Over his back to Paloma. Nothing there. Rebels getting a little too fancy with the passes there and ends up turning it over. Zach Daler back in for the Johnnies. Conway back up to Daler. It's a Benique all the way across the court to Conway again. Rims off the front of the basket. Wagner over to Nelson. Puts up the shot. Nothing there. Oh, boy. Blake Palma went up for the shot and got his arms held down. Nothing called. It's over to Conway in the middle. Quick ball movement by the Johnnies. Long three-pointer. Nothing there. Johnny's backup point guard passes it right to Jason Nelson. And then Ben Benique just goes and fouls him. Jason Nelson hitting the line for the one and one. First basket is good. That's his fifth point tonight. Rebels down one. 24-25. Luneman with the rebound. Left-handed hook. Not there. Conway comes away with a loose ball. Two minutes, 40 seconds left in the first half here. Rebels still down one. Over to Tarek. Whoa. Passes into Conway, and he throws up a prayer. Nothing there. Conway. Nelson. Back to Nelson. Wide open. Hits Luneman. And gets hammered. Nothing called again. Boy, they are letting them play down low tonight.
It's Tarek for three. Not even the rim. Grinnell right there for the rebound. Twenty seven twenty four Johnnies. Just under two minutes to go. Wagner holds the ball up top, hits Nelson at the top of the key. Takes a drive. Johnny's called for the foul. Ace Nelson heading the line for two shots this time. Falls on Benik, his third personal. Yeah. Zach Taylor checking back in. Reed Luneman will head to the bench. Johnny's freshman guard, Zach Deller, probably do the point guard duties for the rest of the half. Second basket, no good. Blake Palma comes up with the offensive rebound. Hits Josh Wagner right on the elbow. It's good. Josh Wagner's first two points of the night come with a minute and a half remaining to tie the game. 27-27. Foul on Blake Palma. Herbal's in the double bonus. Johnny's will head to the line for two. Zach Deller's first point of the night. And the second one's good as well. That puts the Johnny's back up by two. 29-27 with a minute 20 remaining. Wagner, quick crossover. It's Taylor. Kicks it out to Nelson. Hard drive to the basket. Boy, it seems out of nowhere. The refs seem to have changed their calling. They're calling everything tight now. Fouls on number 25, J.J. Rosk is first. Jason Nelson, chance to tie the game up here with a minute 14 remaining. And he does. 29-29. We'll see if the Johnnies play for a last shot here. Over to Tarek. It's Roski. Tipped by Nelson. Just about picked off. Roski set to pass the ball in. Hits Tarek. Back to Roski. In the corner to Conway. Three-point ball. Just rims in. 32-29. 50 seconds remaining. Rebel basketball. Coming down the court. Wagner fires one right away. Forty seconds remaining. Tarek bringing the ball up the floor this time. Over to Conway. It's Deller. Left-handed arcing shot. No good. Wagner up to Nelson. Passing the ball up quick. Daler somehow comes around with that rebound. Smallest guy under the basket. Conway over to Roski. Thirteen seconds to go. Make that ten. Getting the ball in the be player, their best player's hands. Fade away. A line drive shot. Hits Wagner. Wagner with a half-court shot. Just wide right. Get a halftime score. 32-29 Johnnies.
And we're back from halftime. Rebels will start the second half down three, 29-32. Rebels will start with the basketball. Paul and Wagner, Nelson, Taylor, and Oftedal start the half. Wagner pointing out some directions. Hits Taylor at the elbow. Back to Wagner. Takes a drive over his shoulder to Nelson. Into Taylor. Nothing there. Nelson tries to save the ball just to have the tip of his toe on the line. Levi Johnson passing the ball in to Roski. He'll bring the ball up the floor to start here for the Johnnies. Nelson gets a t just a finger on that. And a finger on that one, too. Levi Johnson passes it inside to Conway. Puts in the two buck, two points. Excuse me, that was Grinnell to score the basket. Wagner picks up his dribble, passes it over to Paloma. Oh, Paloma. Paloma passes the ball away, then gets called for the kick. Conway calling to bring the ball to the floor. Picks up his dribble, passes it over to number 11, Benique. Levi Johnson just about gets the ball batted away by Wagner. Levi Johnson passes it right to Jason Nelson. Wagner comes up with the loose ball. Passes it over to Taylor. Nothing there. Hits off it all in the corner. Back to Taylor. And two points. Boy, a beautiful give and go there by the two big guys on the floor. Boy, Wagner just well gets another steal. Grinnell with a fadeaway hook shot. It comes up short. Taylor with the defensive rebound over to Wagner, who bringing the ball up the floor. Back to Paloma. Taylor on the outside. Getting a little too bunched up down in the post for the Rebels. Wagner just about breaks Conway's ankle with that turn, that crossover. Taylor passes it into Optidal. Puts it up and it's good. We're going to count the bucket. That was on number 21, Levi Johnson. That's his third. He is the leading scorer from the Johnnies with four. Excuse me. Second leading scorer. Free throw for off it all was good. Wagner playing some tough D on the outside. Into Grinnell. Kicks it back out. Passes it back up to the middle. Tarek kicks it over to Rini. Kicks it over to Benik. Right into Zach Taylor's hands. Good, good defense there by the tall center. Paloma brings the ball up the floor. Looking to get it inside. Passes it to Zach Taylor who drives. Oh, just gets the, doesn't get the roll there. Grinnell gets the offense or the defensive board. Johnny's heading down the floor. Conway taking the quick three-pointer. This young man does not hesitate to pull the trigger. Johnny's trying to save the ball right into Wagner's hands. He brings the ball up the court. Wet Nelson for three in the corner. Not there. Gets his own rebound. Conway coming the other way. Clear it out. Clear it out. 
Oh, Taylor gets the offensive board two different times, and then fights one in over the Johnny center. Falls number 51, Scott Grinnell. Johnny's coach, Brian Backey, is not happy about that call. You have 14 minutes, 14 seconds left in the second half. We are, we're all knotted up. 36, 36. Doing the dollars for scholars split the pot here tonight. Your announcer this evening did not win. <laughs> Looks like Eagle Valley teacher Cheryl Taylor got the win tonight. Her son currently at the free throw line for one more. Zach Taylor tonight sporting the what will be called the faux hawk. Basket no good. Nelson with the offensive board and with the foul. He'll head the line for two. Conway getting called for the foul. Nelson already has four points off of free throws tonight. Make that five. Grinnell back in for the Johnnies, along with Cervantes for the Rebels. Nelson gets the roll on the second one. He is one of the better free throw shooters and shooters in general for the Rebels. Conway bringing the ball up the floor. Over to Benik. Grinnell looking to post up against Oftedal. Not really there. Tarek throwing up a prayer at the basket. Oftedal with the big defensive rebound over to Wagner. Up the floor quickly. Big mismatch inside. Oftedal, very strong presence. Right, to start the second half, the Rebels have gone inside and inside over and over again. That's their Johnny's big center. Scott Grinnell's third personal foul of the night. Rebels up 39-36 after that free throw. Second one goes as well. J.J. Roski bringing the ball off the court. Over to Benik. Looking to hit Grinnell on the inside. Tyler after it all with the foul. The Johnny's trying to get the ball inside. Conway tries to do another alley-oop. This one's no good. Paloma gets the rebound. Quick pass over to Oftedal. Boy, Josh Wagner just about knocked himself over with how hard he threw that pass, and Oftedal was able to capitalize. Conway, a couple of fakes over to Grinnell. He gets the basket to fall. Nelson. Nelson, after getting the long full court pass, pauses for a second and drives. He gets fouled. That's number 11, Ben Benitez, fourth personal. Johnny's are in foul trouble with several of their key players here in a hurry. Wagner saves the pass. 
It was tipped on the inbounds. Paloma from the corner. Not sure what the call will be on this one. Looks like an over-the-back foul on number 35, Conway, for the Johnnies. That will be his third personal. Excuse me, fourth personal. Rebels get the ball inbounds. Hit Paul on the inside. Nelson on. Nelson getting several offensive boards in a row from his own shots. And gets fouled on by number 21, Levi Johnson. That's his fourth personal. Fifty-one. Scott Grinnell back in for Conway. Rebels coming out with a trap here. And it works. Nelson picks the pass off. He's coming down the court quickly. Decides to pull it out. Did not have the open shot there. Wagner with the 15 footer from the corner. And it's good. Johnny's forced to take a timeout here. We have 12 minutes, 14 seconds left in the second half. Rebels up 46-38. Boy, the Rebels came out in the second half, and they are a different team. Playing much more aggressive than the first half. Catching the Johnny's off guard. Johnny's racking up seven personal fouls here in the first six minutes of the second half. Now this Sunday at 2 p.m., the U Valley One Act Play will be performing at the Eagle Bend Auditorium. And I've been to those in the past. And... Uh, they always put on a pretty good show. Rebels <laughs> coming back out of the timeout. With Wagner, Nelson, Cervantes, Paloma, and Luneman. Wagner putting on the only pressure. Somehow making it tough for three guys to get past him. Rebels almost coming away with that. Wagner just runs out of room to get the loose ball. Number 25, J.J. Roski taking the ball out of bounds. Rebels look like they're in a 2-3 zone. Not going to let the Johnnies beat them inside. Over to the middle. Tarek. Back to Roski. Over to Monique. Back to Tarek. Gets the left-handed shot off. Paloma pulls in the rebound. Rebels in no real hurry here. Into Cervantes. Taking a look inside. Not quite there. Paloma. Somehow gets the ball out of there to Wagner. Cervantes takes a drive. No, overshoots the basket. Tarek bringing the ball up the floor quickly. <laughs> Luneman probably getting the foul here. Yep. And it is number 40, Reed Luneman. Kind of a case of just wrong place, wrong time. He left his feet. There's nothing he could do to avoid that foul. Johnny's terror. First shot. That's good. Well, lefties from St. John's has a fairly pretty shot. Takes him a little bit to set up for the shot, otherwise, probably getting some more open looks. Both free throws look good. Scores now 
46-40, Rebels. Just over 11 minutes left in the game. It's the ball inside to Reed Luneman. The turnaround. Not there. Nelson kicked the pocket. Viva Johnson into Cervantes. Johnny's playing some good D there. Let's we'll see if they can turn that into some points. Just about to travel there. Foul is on number 12, Blake Paloma. At first glance, that looked like that was also on number 40, Reed Luneman, but the referee must have seen something else. That is only Blake's second foul of the game. Zach Taylor back in the game for Mr. Luneman. Johnny's cut their deficit to four. Air ball by Blake Palma from the corner. Johnny's come back quickly. Levi Johnson over to Tarek. Back to Levi Johnson. Takes a slow drive. Gets the bucket. Boy, Tarek has kept the Johnny's in this game. They've cut the deficit to 46-44 Rebels. Rebels seem to have gotten away from what was working. Have not gone inside. They've got both the size and the athleticism on the inside. We'll see if Coach Wold goes back to what was working. Nelson Cervantes, Taylor Wagner, and Paloma. Wagner dribbling over to the corner. Throws it off of Tarek's left foot. Now after all, checking in for Blake Paloma. Probably going to look to get it in inside to off it all. Over to the freshman guard, inside. Throws up a prayer and gets caught. Gets bailed out by the foul. Falls on number 50, Tyler Oftedal. That'll be his third. Team fourth. Levi Johnson, three points in the first half. Zero points so far in the second half. Second basket is good. Rebels lead down to one with just over 10 minutes remaining. Off it all with a major mismatch inside. Freshman guard Zach Daler matching up with him. It's called for the foul. Mr. Daler's first foul tonight. Off it all for the one and one. Not good. Over 
over to Daler. Swings it back. The 22 rate R.J. Alper is getting his first minutes of the game. Ah, Johnny's throwing it off Wagner's foot for the kick. Rebels playing some tough defense. Barely getting in before the five seconds. Tarek throwing it right to Zach Taylor. Nine twenty remaining. Rebels up one. Boy, Offerdahl makes that look easy. Going right around Zach Taylor. There's nothing he could do. Scott Grinnell back in the game for the Johnnies. Making a long pass back up to the top. Tarek making a fake. Fakes. Throws it up, and it's good. 48-47 Rebels. Eight minutes, 40 seconds left here. Nelson with the fancy drive of the basket. Put the Rebels back up by three. That's his sixth point of the half. Cervantes just about picked that off. So did Wagner. Referee smiling on that one. I think he knows that he missed one there. First free throw good for J.J. Roski. Johnny's down two. 21, Levi Johnson coming back in. Off the ball with the rebound. Wagner down court quickly. Gets it to Nelson. And he brings it back out. Looking to get it inside to Afterdahl again. Kicks it to Cervantes. Not there. Tarek bringing the ball up the court. It's over to Daler. Back to Tarek. Levi Johnson posting up on Afterdahl. Nothing really there. Boy, the Johnnies have gotten every loose ball roll here. We have a tie game, 50 to 50. Seven and a half minutes left in the second half. Not sure what that foul was. Falls on number 23, Tarek. That's his second. Wagner heading the line for the first time tonight. First one is good. Gives the Rebels a one point lead. Second basket, not there. Rebels look to be matching up in a man to man. Nelson just about picking that pass off. Ben Benique just steps out of bounds there. And a little out of control. Paul, I'm checking back in. Looking inside, nothing there. Wagner making a quick move. Oh, right into the hands of Tarek. A 
Balls at number 50, Tyler Offenbaugh. That's his fourth. Oh, Johnny's missing a wide open man under the basket there. Over to Daler. Oh, big block by Tyler Offenbaugh there. Grinnell gets called for the offensive foul. Big man might like that. It's tough not to knock people over on the way to the basket. But those are the rules of the game. Rebels now in the double bonus. Any foul from here on out will mean two free throws for the Rebels. Kick being called by Tarek for the Johnnies. Rebels will take the ball out on the side. Over into Wagner. Rebels just wanted to get the ball in. Boy. Isolation play for Wagner. He wanted the bucket. He got it. Just under six minutes here left here. Rebels up three, 53-50. Gets the ball into Grinnell. And looked like a double dribble there. Must have got away with one. Tarek. Over to Roski. Levi Johnson with the screen. <clears throat> Over to Benique. Grinnell on the inside. Kicks it out to Benique again. Neek hits the two-point bank shot from the corner. Well, it wasn't pretty, but it's still worth two points. Rebels up one. Wagner taking over the game. Could have easily gone in for the two, but knew enough to draw the foul from the inexperienced Levi Johnson, sophomore forward for the Johnnies. That is his fifth of the night. He'll head to the bench. Senior Liam Conway heading back out there to take his place. He has five points on the night. Rebels up three, 55-52, 5-13 remaining. Wagner heading the line for one more. He got it. Rebels up four. Five minutes left in the first or in the second half. Conway on the inside. Cervantes matches up well. Over to number 25. Oh, tipped by Paloma. Wagner gets the ball. Kicks it out. Right into Offdahl. Nice look. Two points, Tyler Offdahl. Blake Paloma with a brilliant pass. Boy, this has been a coming out party for Tyler Offerdahl here tonight. Nine points in the second half to t add to his six in the first half. Sophomore forward. This has been probably the most important player this game so far. Rebels up six. Four minutes, 44 seconds remaining. Pass the ball into Conway, bring the ball up the floor. Gets the ball to Benik, looking inside to Grinnell. Nothing there. Tarek looks to do something. Cervantes just well picks that pass off, just tips it out. Johnny's coach, Backies, is not happy. Oh, and Conway caught sleeping. Oh, 
Referee explaining the foul to Cervantes. And he doesn't agree. Conway had the line for the one and one. No good. Grinnell gets the rebound though. Tough call there. Referee saw the double dribble. Fifty-eight, fifty-two. Four minutes, twenty-one seconds left here. Johnny's passing into the Conway. Looking to Grinnell inside. Zach Taylor playing some tough D. It over to number 25. Grinnell at the top of the key. Tarek taking a look. Big lob pass over into the bleachers. Right to my mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Just under four minutes remaining. Rebels hanging on to a six point lead. Wagner wants to get a bucket here. Tough battle inside with Cervantes and Tarek. Tarek getting frustration, just shoving Cervantes. It's his third of the night. Second basket is good. Rebels now up seven. Three minutes, 45 seconds left in the second half. Benique taking a look over to Grinnell. Top of the key. Nothing there. Just well gets the five second call. Tarek over into the corner. Long three pointer. No good. Zach Taylor with the rebound. Nelson wide open for the three-pointer. Nelson with Cervantes with the rebound. Not there. Two of his own rebounds. Gets blocked on the third. Johnny's heading the other way. Boy, Grinnell just walked in for the bucket there. Only a five-point lead for the Rebels. Two minutes, 50 seconds left. Scott Grinnell's done almost all the scoring here for the Johnnies in the second half. <laughs> Wagner splitting the flat-footed Johnnies there. It's at another bucket. <laughs> Big man Zach Taylor needs to hold his ground there. Big man Grinnell just wants to get an offensive foul the way he's playing. Scott Grinnell's ninth point of the second half. Twelfth overall. Rebels have a six point lead. Two minutes, 21 seconds left. Make that a five-point lead. Wagner, long pass. Literally corner to corner of the court. Wagner over to Nelson. Gets it into Taylor. Tarek with the rebound. Goes over to Tarowski. And Benique. We're now posting up far away from the basket. Right into Blake Palma's hands. He read that pass like a book. 
Minute 40 left. Five-point lead, 61-56 Rebels. I did not see that one. A minute and a half left here. Dario Cervantes is fouled out of the game. James Olsen looking to replace him. Ball to Conway. Senior looking to get a bucket here. Get his team a little closer. Gets away with the travel there. James Olsen coming off the bench. Big rebound. Gets it over to Blake Paloma. Zach Taylor in the corner. Back to Paloma. Gets it to Wagner. Over to Wet. Paloma saves the ball. Josh Wagner is not an easy man to steal the ball from. Wagner trade spots with Taylor. Ends up with the ball again. Paulman passes up the wide open shot. Number 11, Ben Beneath. Borderline flagrant foul right there. Shoving the player into the bleachers. Inga Valley's best free throw shooter, Jason Nelson, heading to line for two. Thirty-nine point four seconds left. Sixty-one fifty-six Rebels. Nelson's first shot is good. Makes this one. It'll be a three-possession game. No good. Six-point lead. 35 seconds left. Johnny's need to do something quickly here. Gets trapped. Over to Conway. Tarek takes the three. Not there. Three Rebels swarm for that rebound. Conway with the desperation play. Fouls Jason Nelson. New Valley will send their best shooter to the line once again. 20 seconds even remaining. 62-56. Senior Liam Conway is fouled out. Finishes the night with five points. Nelson, chance to put the game away here. Coach Wold calling a full timeout. Boy, between Josh Wagner, Jason Nelson, and Tyler Oftedal, they put a lot of points up here in the second half. The only other points for the Rebels. In the second frame here is Zach Taylor with two and Dario Cervantes with three free throws. After this free throw, Rebels hoping to get the ball back and just run the clock out. Nelson, Olson, Taylor, Wagner, and Paloma out to finish the game out. RJ Alpers getting back onto the floor. Olson, second shot. Not there. Tara quickly down the floor. Passes it over to Alpers into Grinnell. 
Taylor just lets him get the shot off. He misses the ball. Oh, that must have been the key to the Rebels. They're inside play, both on defense and offense. Johnny star player Grinnell got his points, but there could have been a lot more. Zach Taylor missing the first shot. 6.7 seconds left. Seven-point Rebel lead, 63-56. That one's no good as well. Tarek with the last second shot. Banks the three-pointer home. I'm not sure if he tries for those bank shots or if they just happen, but that's his second one in the second half. Point four seconds left. Johnny's call a timeout. Jason Nelson, the high score for the Rebels tonight, 16 points. Tyler Offedal, the sophomore forward, putting in 15 of his own. Josh Wagner had 12. And that completes the Rebels' Prairie Conference victory against the St. John's Johnnies. Final score, Rebels 63, Johnnies 59. We've had a good time here tonight. Good Rebel win. Our next broadcast will be this coming Monday, January 26th. will be a girls' basketball game, also against the St. John's Johnnies. Talk to Coach Lundin, and it should be a pretty good matchup. Well, I hope you had a good, time, good of a time as I did, and we will see you next Monday.